Hey WordPress warriors, ever feel lost in a jungle of thousands of Chrome extensions, especially when it comes to WordPress? Well, I've got your back because today I'm sharing seven awesome Chrome extensions that will level up your WordPress game in no time. So grab a snack, kick back and let's explore these awesome tools together. But before I proceed with uh, extensions, here's another goodie for you. So uh, listen up. What if I say there is a way for you to earn up to $72 for each $1 spent? Well, this is possible with Omnisend, a popular and powerful email and SMS platform built for e-commerce brands. It integrates well with hundreds of e-commerce tools, so you can add it to your store with a single click. For example, you can connect it with your WooCommerce shop in no time. You can send emails, SMS and push notifications and all it from one workflow. You can even automate the entire process so messages continue to get sent even when you're doing other tasks. Currently more than 100,000 businesses already use Omniscient to grow, so if you're interested then take a closer look at it. Also award-winning customer support is available 24-7 on every plan and it's ready to set you up for success. And don't just take my word for it, the Trustpilot community is buzzing with rave reviews about their amazing experience with Omniscient with 89% of reviewers giving a perfect score. I'll put the link to the Omniscient in the video description, so be sure to take a closer look at it. But now let's take a look at the Chrome extensions I promised you earlier. First of those is called WordPress Admin Bar Control. As you see it says switch to Chrome to install extensions and themes. I'm using Microsoft Edge which means these extensions most likely work with every Chromium based browser. But this WordPress Admin Bar Control plugin does one simple thing. And that is if I click on it the Admin Bar from the top is hidden. If I click on it once again it's back. It also works on the back end. Take a look, hidden and back again. Next extension is called CSS Peeper and this allows you to inspect items on your site instantly. Here's the icon for it, I'm going to click on it. If I click on the element, I can see object properties, font family, font size, line height, colors, background and so on. If I click back here and open up colors, it displays all the colors used on the site. And if I take a look at the assets, I can download all the images used on the site. Just click on the export button and done. Awesome stuff. Next extension is probably my favorite and it's called TasteWP, free WordPress instances. I'll show you what it can do for you. So I'm on my site. If I click on the TasteWP icon, it scans my site. It tells me what team I'm using, what plugins I'm using. Now, as you see, there is a link try plugin. If I click on it, it will create me a site within a couple of seconds. And as you see, the same plugin I want to try is installed and I can use it. It says that I have eight hours and there is a counter that displays the amount of time I have left. So with a one click, I can just test the plugin. But not only that, if I click here, I can create a new WordPress site, whether with default settings or advanced options. If you need to create more than two sites, then you need a account, but it's free. For example, if I go to the site, I can sign up. And if I have an account, then I have more options to create sites. There is a free version and there is a premium version. So take a look at it. But there is one other thing it can do for you. For example, if you go to the WordPress site and open up plugins, I'm going to open up one random plugin, then you'll see that there is a create a WordPress site with this plugin installed. And if I click on this button here, it will create me the site with the same plugin installed and it takes only a couple of seconds. Now, since I'm logged in, you'll see that my site will expire after three days. So I have a bit more time. If you need even more time, then once again, use the pro version. Next one I have for you is called Inspect WP and it's a WordPress theme and plugin detector. So let's take a look. Once again, I'm on my website. I'm going to click on the icon. And if I click on the analyze current website, then it displays me all sorts of information. For example, server IP, errors on my site, warnings, WordPress related info, that is WordPress version, team, plugins I have used on this site, SEO related info. GDPR related info and HTML related info. 
If I click on the show complete report, then it opens up on the inspect WP site. I can see what are the issues here. Once again, small but nifty extension. Next one is somewhat related and it's called WP Security WordPress Vulnerability Scanner. So let's take a look. And if I open up my site, this is a demo site in my computer, so I don't have to worry about it. But to demonstrate it, I'm going to open it up, WP Security. For example, I can check what's the story with the usernames, whether they are public visible. Yes, they are, so I need to hide those. Let's test the same with another site, for example, this one here. If I use the same and enumerate usernames, then no usernames enumerated, that is, is fine here. But in a similar way, you can check the version and vulnerabilities. Teams and plugin information. Check for user registration and so on. It's a simple plugin that does simple things, but it can be handy for you. Next one is performance analyzer. What I use it for is if I'm on a site, then I click on this icon here. It displays me the speed related information. For example, this Cadence WP site has 92 requests. Total load time is under one second. Time to first byte. And if you scroll down, then you'll see the navigation timing, request by domain, and so on. It also works on backend. For example, I'm going to refresh this page here, open up Performance Analyzer, and you'll see the similar information here. Just scroll down, you'll see the request by initiator type, hosts, request by file type, and so on. Nifty tool. And the last one for today is called Voila. It's an AI chat GPT powered assistant. And what it will do for you is, for example, I'm going to open up one site. For example, let's go to the taste WP site. I'm going to click on the shortcut command M. And now I'm going to ask to summarize the content on this page, submit, and it will give me an overview of what is said here. Let's open up something else, for example, Cadence WP. Let's do the same. And there you go. You can even write code with it, fix grammar, choose your own model, whether it's GPT 3.5 or GPT 4. All sorts of prompts can be used, for example, write me a code that disables WordPress comments. And there you go. I don't know whether it works or not, but this is how it works. I use it daily and it's a total time saver for me. One way I use it sometimes is for the longer videos. I'm going to go to the YouTube, open up the video. Then I'm going to open up the voila, click on the summarize YouTube video button. And within a couple of seconds, it will summarize me all the information said in this video, which is nine minutes long. Now, there is a thing, though, it's not a totally free plugin. You can test it for free and you'll get to 250 free requests. Otherwise, it's paid. Awesome stuff. And these were the seven Chrome extensions I wanted to show you today. Wait, if you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up this one here and take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, Take care. Bye.